In order to run your PM66 board without any batteries, you'll need a couple of components in addition to the input supply voltage that you'll be using. The first component you'll need is an LM7805 5 volt regulator. It's a simple device with only three pins. An input, where you input your supply voltage, anywhere from about 7 to 15 volts will work. A ground, or the negative side of your supply voltage. And an output pin, which will always supply your 5 volts. The next component you'll need is a 1N4004 diode. This is a good component to use because it has a higher current rating than a lot of the smaller ones, so you can use this circuit for things other than just the PM66 board if you want. The first thing you'll need to do is flip the diode around so that the band is pointing away from the output pin on the voltage regulator. Now position the output pin and the input lead from the diode and get them as close together as you can and solder them to make sure you have a secure connection. Now it's a relatively simple matter of applying your input voltage from your power supply, plus to the input pin, and negative to the ground under the voltage regulator. At this point you can cut the leads to the battery pack on the PM66 board. Make sure you leave the leads attached to the board as long as possible. Now connect the red wire to the output end of the diode, and the black wire also to the negative side or ground pin of the voltage regulator. The diode adds a voltage drop of roughly 0.7 volts to the whole circuit, so instead of applying 5 volts, we're actually applying 4.3. Since the three batteries generate a voltage of roughly 4.5 volts, this is perfect for the PM66 board, without risking overloading the input.